O positive. Before borders, before empires, humanity had one dominant blood type. O positive flows through four out of every 10 people on Earth. It's not just common, it's ancient. This is humanity's original blood, the genetic code of our hunter-gatherer ancestors before borders, before farming, before civilization. Its power is in its reach. O positive can be transfused into anyone with a positive blood type, A, B, AB, or O. That's why blood banks are built around it. In emergencies, it's the majority leader. But this survivor's blood comes with evolutionary trade-offs. The good? Type O carriers have significantly lower risk of Alzheimer's and dementia as they age. Your blood may literally be protecting your mind. They also have lower clotting factors, which dramatically reduces the risk of deadly blood clots and heart disease. The bad? That same free-flowing blood makes severe bleeding harder to stop in accidents. And O types are sitting ducks for Helicobacter pylori. The bacteria behind most stomach ulcers latches onto O blood cells easier than any other type. It's a vulnerability coded into your DNA. A. Positive. A. Positive is the blood of civilization, running through three out of every ten people. It didn't emerge in the wild. It emerged in the first farming villages. As humans packed into settlements and shifted to grain-based diets, diseases changed, and our blood evolved to fight back. The A antigen is an immune shield against infections that plagued early agricultural societies, which is why it spread so rapidly. Medically, A positive is a workhorse. You can receive blood from A and O positive donors, giving hospitals plenty of options. But the builder's blood has a dark side. That sticky A antigen makes your blood cells clump together more easily, significantly raising your risk of blood clots, stroke, and heart disease compared to type O. And here's the kicker. Type A individuals are biologically wired for stress. You produce higher baseline cortisol levels, the body's stress hormone. In ancient times, that hyper-awareness kept you alive. Today, it means deadlines, traffic, and notifications hit you harder, right down to your cells. In Japanese culture, A types are seen as intelligent and trustworthy leaders, but emotionally guarded. Your blood carries the weight of civilization itself. B positive. Only one in 10 people have B positive. This isn't the blood of settlers, it's the blood of nomads. B positive has the highest concentrations in Central Asia and the Middle East, a genetic fingerprint left by ancient migrations across the harshest environments on Earth. That constant movement shaped a specialist immune system, highly effective against certain bacterial threats but vulnerable to others. The downside? That finely tuned defense can backfire, making B types more prone to inflammatory and autoimmune conditions. Your immune system is sometimes too good at fighting. Your metabolism tells the same story. Evidence suggests B types process fats and carbs differently, an adaptation to diets rich in meat and fermented dairy. That ancient engine struggles with modern processed foods. Fun fact, studies show B-positive blood attracts mosquitoes more than A-types, and culturally B-types are described as emotional, helpful, and high-spirited. B-positive is rare enough that blood banks work hard to keep it stocked, but common enough to save lives when it matters. AB-positive AB-positive is a genetic anomaly. Found in less than 5% of the population, it's the newest blood type, emerging only a few thousand years ago when A and B populations mixed. Here's its superpower. AB positive is the universal recipient. Your red cells carry both A and B antigens, so your immune system sees all blood types as friendly. In an emergency, you can receive blood from anyone, A, B, AB, O, positive or negative. It's the ultimate biological safety net. But that openness is also your greatest weakness. Because your immune system doesn't fight A or B antigens, it can be too tolerant. AB types are more vulnerable to bacterial infections like E. coli and salmonella. Your gates are left unguarded. Even more disturbing, large studies show AB individuals have the highest risk of cognitive decline and memory loss later in life compared to every other blood type. Culturally, AB types are seen as diplomatic, mysterious, and charismatic, a blend of A's logic and B's emotion. You're the rarest positive type, standing at the cutting edge of human evolution, but paying a steep price for your complexity. O negative. O negative is liquid gold. Found in less than 7% of people, it's the universal donor. With no A, B, or RH antigens, O negative blood is biologically invisible. It can be given to anyone without triggering an immune reaction. When someone's bleeding out and there's no time to test their blood type, O negative is the only option. Paramedics grab it first. Surgeons demand it. It saves lives every single day. 
but if you have O negative, you live with a hidden burden. You can give to everyone, but you can only receive from other O negatives, a tiny group. You're also more vulnerable to severe cholera and norovirus infections. And if you're a woman, pregnancy becomes high risk. If you carry an RH positive baby, your immune system may attack it, seeing the baby's blood as foreign. Before modern medicine, this was often fatal. O negative donors are humanity's silent protectors, universal saviors carrying a profound personal cost. A negative. A negative is one of the rarest types, less than 2% of the global population. You carry the A antigen but lack the RH factor, creating a dangerous medical tightrope. If you need a transfusion, your options are tiny, only A negative or O negative donors. Your safety net is razor thin, making every A negative donation incredibly precious. Like A positive, you carry the immune strengths of ancient farmers, but you also face the same reproductive dangers as O negative. An A negative mother's body can attack her RH positive baby if untreated. You're rare, resilient, but constantly fragile. B negative. B negative flows through only 1% of humanity. You have the wanderer's blood, but without the RH factor, you're nearly invisible. Your donor pool is almost non existent. Only B negative or O negative. In emergencies, finding compatible blood is a desperate race against time. Every B negative donation is flagged as high priority. You carry the metabolic and immune traits of nomadic ancestors, but your scarcity overshadows everything. To have B negative is to be part of a statistically microscopic fraction of the human race. AB negative. AB negative is not just rare, it's a statistical ghost. Less than 0.5% of people have it. You are more than 80 times less common than O positive. You can only receive red cells from A, B negative, A negative, B negative, or O negative donors, an impossibly small group. But here's your hidden superpower. Your plasma is universally compatible. You're the universal plasma donor, able to save any patient of any blood type with your plasma alone. You are the ultimate paradox, the rarest person on earth who can receive from almost no one, but who holds the unique power to save everyone. Now, drop your blood type in the comments and tell me what surprised you most, because this is just the beginning of understanding what makes you, you.